This is why people need to calm down. When people are like, you can't make the f this one better than the first one. The first one's so good. Well, you don't have to make it better than the first one. As long as it's a good movie, it's a stand on its own, it's a good movie, then, then it's a good movie. It doesn't have to be better than Creed 1, because we all know Creed 1 is an awesome movie. We all know that. So why does Creed 2 have to be better than this one? As long as it's a good movie, I like the movie. Creed 2. I don't know, I'm Rocky, I fight people, I don't know. It's, it's time to review Creed 2, guys. I have been so looking forward to this movie ever since they announced it, and I didn't even think it was going to get released this year, because I'm pretty sure they announced it like in January. Hey, Creed 2 comes out. I was like, there's no way they're doing a Creed 2. It takes, it takes forever to do movies. Nah, they filmed it like in May of this year, all the way to June, and they got it out, and it's out, and it's here, and it's it's, it's making money, because I work in the theater, and it's making money. But no, on a serious note, I am here to review Creed 2, and this movie is directed not by uh, Ryan Coogler, who did the first Creed, and he went on to do Black Panther, and look how that turned out. No, this one's actually directed by uh, something Fowles Jr. I, I forget his name. I should probably look it up. I should probably look it up, because he is going to get a name out there, because... Okay, let's just get into it. So the basic storyline is Adonis Creed. Creed is back. He's on top of the world. He's got everything. He, the money, the fame, the belt. He is number one across the boxing life and everything. And so then all of a sudden, Sylvester Stallone, Rocky, he trains him for this fight. Everything goes, everything's great. Until just, if, if anyone's ever seen Rocky IV, the man, the Russian, the man that don't bleed. Dolph Lundgren is back as Drago. And his son, uh, what was his name? Eric Drago? Either way, Drago is back with his son. And his son challenges Creed to a fight. And he says, hey, I'll do it. And Rocky's like, it's not a good idea. And so there's challenges. He fights them. It's about revenge because Ivan Drago killed his dad. And that's, that was the first movie. The first movie was about him becoming a boxer. Him, like, showing that he can step in. He doesn't have to be behind his dad's show. He can be his own person. That was the first movie's main storyline. This one is like, hey, he killed my dad. His son has literally challenged me to a fight. I'm gonna fight him. And Rocky's like, don't you do it. He is dangerous and he's gonna do it. And then their stuff happens and then I won't get into spoilers because the trailers did a great job hiding a lot of stuff that a lot of people had predicted and said over the internet and said, this is going to happen, and I'm not going to lie. That's The main criticism, the movie's predictable as heck. I mean, I before this movie, before I walked in this movie, I said everything that's going to happen to, like, the storyline. Like, there's a few, like, character things that happen and, like, life choices and life thing that happens to, to Adonis, to Michael B. Jordan, and then you're it totally, I was like, I like this where they're going, but the main storyline and predictability and when the training montage happened, I mean, that all alone is predictable, but you really can't hurt the movie on that. I mean, what do you expect from a Rocky movie? This this is the eighth movie in the Rocky franchise. If you think about that, yes, this is Creed 2, but it is it is Rocky. I mean, deep down, it's a Rocky movie. Come on, like it's Sylvester Stallone's movie. Now, I will say this. Now, have you ever seen the first Creed? Which, if you haven't, please watch it. Um, Sylvester Stallone was not my first supporting actor, and he deserved it. He is great, and he's really good in this movie. But the first movie, that was Sylvester Stallone's movie. That was his performance. In this one, it's Michael B. Jordan. He kills it. I mean, he does a great job in the first one. But in this one, this was his movie. Michael B. Jordan is such a good actor. And he is, he, the physically, like, the man's, the man could kick my ass. <laughs> I mean, the man is buff. I mean, he was great in Black Panther. He was, he was really really good in this movie, especially Tessa Thompson, who is his girlfriend in this movie, and her having the deaf uh, difficult, to, uh, her being a singer, like, her storyline and his storyline, they become a real couple in this movie, and a real, like, relationship builds, and, some, and stuff happens later on in this movie that is devastating and happy at the same time, I don't know how you could look at that, but their relationship is the main, like, focus in this movie. I mean, yes, you got Ivan Drago coming back with his son, and his son is buff as fed doodles. I mean, this man was taller than Creed. I mean, this kid was, this kid was huge. And I mean, when the fight scenes happen, there's no one take like the first one. They'll not, they'll not, they'll not be like that. Again, you can tell Ryan Cooler didn't direct this movie, but the guy who did direct this movie, it was like something junior. He did a really good job. And this is like his first, like, official movie or second movie. And that's crazy. I mean, 
he did a really good job. And I love the storyline. Like, I really just, I get, I mean, it's, I mean, you gotta think about it. I mean, this guy, this guy killed his dad and he wants revenge and his son is challenging him. And I don't blame him for accepting this fight. Like, there's a lot of heart in this movie and they do such a good job by showing off the Drago end. After Rocky IV, they show what happened. They show how his life changed and how his son is affected by his dad. I loved what they did. It made you care for the Drago family. It goes deep and shows a lot. And I didn't expect that. And they did a great job. It made you care for the bad guys. I mean, they're not really bad people. They're just, they're just guys fighting in a boxing match. That's all it really is. But with the, if you give them character development and grit and all that kind of stuff, it makes it more effective and it's great. Again, I I, I really liked this movie. For it's not better than the first Creed. It just isn't, you know. But for me personally, I really like this movie. I love the score. I love the music. The training montage. I mean, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's the I've never seen this type of setting for a training montage. And I dug it. I really enjoyed the training montage. I enjoyed a lot of this movie. Again, the biggest issue is it's just predictable. But it's it's the eighth Rocky movie. I mean, you gotta keep that in mind. It's the eighth one. You've seen this before. One actual criticism that I didn't think, that time flies by like that in this movie. There's a certain character that is pregnant, and then this character is pregnant nine months, about to have a baby, and like two scenes after she gets announced that she has a baby. Like, it goes very quick by in, in that kind of stuff. I mean, Creed gets injured somehow, spoil it, and then he's healed in the next five minutes, and you don't really get to see the grit of him in pain. You do, but they could have gone deeper, I think. Either way, Creed was awesome. It made me tear up. It made me like sit on the edge of my seat and I had a friend next to me and I could and she she made fun of me for tearing up and everything and all that kind of stuff but I really was into this movie. I did not expect to like it this much especially how good the first one is. This movie isn't better than the first one but I still really liked Creed 2 and I'm going to give it a very 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 high A minus. It's an awesome sequel. Definitely not better than the first one, but definitely an awesome movie. Anyway, guys, you guys enjoy this review, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know. I'm See you guys next time. Bye-bye.